Murray from Scooter Central and today we're going to have a look at the popular Peugeot Django 150. Peugeot's history with powered two-wheel machines dates all the way back to 1898 and even today the Django 150 takes many of its design cues from the famous Peugeot S55 that was seen all around Paris in the 1950s. The Django 150 is fully automatic and it's designed for urban riding. It's quite capable of taking a rider and a pillion passenger and it's learner legal here in Australia. The engine is a fuel injected 150cc 4 stroke with an easy twist and go CVT transmission and a top speed around 100km per hour. The lighting system at the front of the scooter is easy to operate and comes with a halogen headlight and LED indicators. At the front of the scooter we see the wheels are 12 inch and they're mounted on telescopic fork suspension. It also has anti-lock disc brakes at the front end. The chrome mirrors complement the retro style of the Django very well and in the cockpit the simple yet modern controls are very easy to navigate. The right side glove box has a 12 volt charging outlet. while the left side has your fuel tank safely locked away. In the same area there is also a handy bag hook to help increase your storage. The undersaddle storage is accessed using your key and there is ample space for most open face helmets. When you receive your Django from us here at Scoot Essential, you'll find under the saddle a wallet with an owner's manual, warranty information, spare key and contact information for our store. Behind the saddle is a strong rear grab handle. And parking is made easy with both a side stand and a centre stand. And at the rear of the scooter there is a 12 inch wheel with disc brakes, an adjustable rear shock absorber and a chrome exhaust heat shield cover. And finally I really like how Peugeot have moulded the rear tail light and indicators into the rear body panel. Now let's take the Peugeot Django 150 for a ride. <laughs> I found the Django light and easy to ride. There is ample power for city riding and the brakes do their job really well. At 182 centimetres tall I felt very comfortable on the scooter but I'd also recommend this scooter to smaller riders as it has a lower seat height than most scooters. Well that's about it for today. Make sure to check our website or ask our staff about the current colour choices and also consider things like the optional windscreen or rear carry rack and top box for even more storage. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you out riding soon. Thank you.